Hello everyone. Hope everyone are fine in the lockdown session. So how's your preparation going? Good. Okay. Let us proceed with the worksheet six, which is a part of the KVS Madan MCQ series, Unit One, Teaching Aptitude. So today's topic is teaching methods and teaching instructional facilities. So I am going to cover the first twenty MCQs of teaching methods and teaching instructional facilities. I hope you clearly understood. right so uh, do not forget to just uh, uh, like the video subscribe the channel if you are seeing the channel for the first time you just subscribe the channel and press on the bell icon for the more updates further you are going to get uh, updates of various mcqs and various worksheets and various notifications in my channel i hope you clearly understood right so let us continue with mcq series now going forward with mcq series like yes uh, so Yeah, wait a minute. This I am just expand, expanding the uh, what is it called as? Yeah. Uh, what is this uh, symposium? Symposium is it? Uh, uh, see, uh, example. Sorry, uh, going forward with the first question. Purna educate. Yeah. So micro teaching is more effective. So what exactly the micro teaching speaks about? Micro teaching it is a technique or it is a method used for. Uh, preparation for the teaching practice. In order to teach, in order to get effective teaching practice, one should will one one should will follow the uh, micro teaching technique, right? Micro teaching technique it is a method or uh, technique which is used during the preparation of teaching practice. Yes, this is not during teaching practice. It is during the preparation of teaching practice, right? So the option A is the correct answer. Okay, next uh, it is like. Uh, Second question we are going forward. Micro teaching, micro teaching is uh, useful to the students of what? Whom? So micro teaching is useful to the students who belongs to the both the primary as well as higher classes. Since the teaching is really required for the primary teaching as well as higher teaching, uh, higher classes whatever it might be. So micro teaching is really useful for the primary as well as higher classes. Since the teaching is more important, so the practice of teaching is really required. So for that purpose, I am saying micro teaching is useful to the students of both primary as well as higher classes. I hope you clearly understood, right? So going forward with the third question, we have the third question. Yeah, <laughs> which of the following? Which of the following? Uh, university was a pioneer in micro teaching concept started in 1961. The Stanford University, option A, option B, Oxford University, option C, Delhi University, which is located in Delhi. Option D, J L M University, Jawaharlal Nehru University, New Delhi. So the correct answer is Stanford University. Stanford University. So we can expect one more question here. Stanford University. As we all know that Stanford University is a university who was the pioneer or who was the first in adopting the micro teaching concept in 1961. So we can expect one more question, one more important question. Where is the Stanford University is located? Where the micro teaching concept has been started in 1961. So your option should be like California, California of United States. I hope you understood. Stanford University is located in the California. What happens in the Stan uh, Stanford University? In Stanford University, um, majority of the teachers training were used to be happened uh, in the uh, 1960s. So at that time period of the micro teaching concept has been more focused. So the micro teaching uh, uh, micro teaching technique. Is adopted in the practicing of the teaching techniques. I hope you clearly understood, right? Yeah. So, Stanford University is located at California. I hope you clearly understood, right? Yes. So the fourth question. In which of the following is the instruction procedure the main component? Main component instruction procedure is the main component of synthesis teaching model, basic teaching model, inductive model, social simulation. So in the basic teaching model itself. The instruction procedure is the main concept. In basic teaching model, generally the instructions will be given by the teacher to the student. So, in that kind of instructions, generally the information will be flown from teacher mind to the student mind. So, for this purpose, the instruction is the main component in basic teaching model, right? Yes. So, uh, next question: C A I stands for the C A I stands for computer analyzed instruction, computer assisted instruction. Computer assigned intelligence and none of the above. It is computer assisted instruction. So whatever the instruction being given, 
it is uh, whatever the instruction being given that kind of instruction will be generally by what computer so computer will be helping in providing the instruction instructions of teaching and learning perspective i hope you clearly understood isn't it yes so you don't forget is the subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for the further updates you will be getting more uh, mcqs related to paper 1 as well as paper 2 even so do not forget to subscribe the channel and press on the bell icon for the more updates right yes so sixth question we are going to go in education john davis stressed on what in education john davis stressed on learning by doing authority and teaching methods road learning none of the go learning by doing simultaneously there should be learning at the time of doing so once the lear learning by doing will give a perfection so johnny debu uh, johnny debu has mainly focused on learning by doing concept i hope you understood right yes symposium is a type of yeah symposium is nothing but exchange of ideas uh, exchange of ideas exchange of information or whatever it might be so it is an like a discovery method discussion method lecture method demonstration method yeah it is like a, a discussion method i hope you understood right yeah questioning skill questioning skill in teaching is more useful in what what is the need of questioning skill in the students generally ensuring the students active participation in the learning uh, memorizing the facts with the students making uh, uh, making students discipline preparing students for the examination it is like what ensuring students active participation in the learning uh, so in order to ensure students active participation in the learning one should uh, be in a position to answer the question so this kind of question questioning level or question skills in the students generally it will be developed by the uh, it, it only the developed or it is really useful only through or for active participation in the learning generally question skills will really helpful uh, in active participation in the learning point number 1 point number 2 uh, question skills are really required question skill questioning skills are really required uh, for what in order to participate actively actu uh, actively in the discussions question skills will increase the discussion part of any topic right yes memorizing the facts with the students of course making students disciplined preparing students for the examination the basic idea of the question skill in the teaching is more useful for ensuring the students active participation in the learning yeah next uh, which of the following statement is incorrect about micro teaching see micro teaching it is a method of teaching no it is not a method of teaching it is a method of practice of the teaching it is not the teaching actually it is a method it is a technique used during the practice of teaching generally it consists of core teaching skills yes each skill is practiced separately yes of course questioning is a one co one component of the micro teaching yes questioning is also one component of uh, micro teaching so generally we should know that micro teaching is not the method of teaching Micro micro teaching is a technique used during the practice of teaching. I hope you understood, right? Yes. Uh, Armstrong Armstrong was the main exponent of problem solving method, project method, discussion method, and heuristic method. Yes, option B. Armstrong was the main exponent of heuristic method. So once uh, um, we should know, no, uh, we should be in a position to know what is this uh, heuristic method actually. Heuristic method. What does it mean? Heuristic method is a uh, question oriented, so it mainly focuses always on how, why, when, what. So this kind of questions will be generally considered in the heuristic method. So this heuristic method has been exponented by who? So exponented by the Armstrong. Armstrong is the exponent of heuristic method. Discussion method is useful for what? Discussion method is uh, is really helpful. Uh, when the topic is really easy or the topic is difficult or the topic is very difficult in all the situations in all the situations generally the discussion method is really helpful right again i am reminding you so you just uh, subscribe the channel and press on the bell icon for the more updates so you know in future you will be getting more updates yes so educational technology is useful because why why educational technology is really useful it is a need of our, it is adopted by the famous institutions, it makes teaching effective and efficient. No, uh, not at all, but option D, it attracts students towards the teaching and learning activities. Yes, 
so uh, educational technology really help uh, educational technology will really uh, help to attract students towards teaching and learning activities right yes uh, so we have uh, which component or components must be included in the lesson plan so development or ordering of the lesson okay where it materials and media to supplement the clarity content specific objectives of lesson all of you so generally uh, included you know lesson plans will be included all the outline of the lesson where it materials and media to supplement the clarity content specific objectives of lesson all the above. yes all the things will be included in the lesson plan i hope you understood right yeah one of the most popular forms of drill is drill and practices what is the name of drill drill is nothing but continuously repeating the instructions continuously repeating the instructions is called as drill method so uh, drill method generally will be considered in the direct instruction whenever a direct instruction is passed by the teacher and student the student will repeat the same process after the teacher gives the instruction so that is called as drill so drill process is directly involved in the direct instruction yeah practice is made in inductive method deductive method drill method discussion method it is in the drill method yes of course in which of the following subjects the role playing can be mainly useful for teaching history science subjects mathematics and languages yes role plays are majorly helpful for teaching history why because in the history generally there will be a lot of uh, what is it called as a lot of um, characters yes lot of characters are involved in the history so for the purpose of remembering those kind of characters generally role plays will be carried so role plays will really helpful to remember the characters to remember the characters i hope you understood right so role plays will be uh, role playing can be mainly useful for the teaching the history subject right yes so uh, you know one thing uh, again i am just reminding you just uh, subscribe to the channel uh, and press on the bell icon for the more updates you are going to get the more updates in the future right yes so next it will be like 17th question which is not the advantage of the team teaching which is not not advantage not the advantage better utilization of the resources is an advantage better planning it is an advantage better use of teaching techniques is an advantage better financial benefits of teachers no there are no financial benefits of teachers as a group teaching team teaching no there is no other financial benefit generally the ben uh, financial rewards will be given as general so there are no additional financial benefits for uh, teachers right yeah so it is not an advantage better financial benefits of the teachers is not an advantage yeah so a teacher performs practically and extensively lecture method discovery method demonstration method uh, problem solving method a teacher performs practically and extensively in lecture method discovery method demonstration method problem solving method in demonstration method the uh, lecturer or the teacher will show practically practical aspect demonstration is nothing but showing them in the live environment so that the uh, student may feel interesting and so that he can understand the practical aspect right so uh, the practical aspects will be carried only on the demonstration method only on the demonstration method so again i am saying you just subscribe the channel and press on the bell icon for the more updates so you just share the videos to your friends with uh, and aspirants so we'll be giving you the more information on this channel right so the 19th question could be like the main assumption underlying team teaching so what is the main assumption underlying under team teaching is like what teacher feel bored while working alone the best teachers can be shared by the more uh, students the single teacher cannot control the class so the main assumption underlying teaching the main assumption underlying team teaching what is the main assumption generally so what is the main assumption teacher feel bored while working alone is not the assumption the best teachers can be shared by the more students yes so whenever the team teaching happens the best teachers the team teaching may includes the good and bad teachers on the subject who are good at the subject or who are not good at the subject the combination of team teaching will be the good teachers as well as not good teachers so generally whenever there are the best teachers in the team teachers so in the team teaching if there are any kind of best teachers generally it will be information will be shared to the more students right so i hope you understood so that is the basic assumption so last question for the uh, session uh, what is an what is which is not the mode of cai computer assisted instruction which is not the mode tutorial mode drill mode simulation mode question mode yes question mode question mode is not the mode of the cai generally tutorial mode tutorial mode is nothing something is called as uh, 
uh, a kind of series. So drill, drill mode, question mode is the correct answer. I hope you clearly understood. You don't forget to subscribe.